Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this video uh, will show you how to install DevC++. That's uh, the software that we're going to use in our lab. Um, I'll show you how to write a program with the software, how to save the file, then we'll compile the file. After that, we will run to see the output. And I'm going also to show you how to open a new file. And maybe we'll show you uh, how to edit or fix a basic error. Okay, student, uh, you can go to this link uh, to download and to install the DevC++ software. Um, this is a free software or we can search from the Google. I'll show you. Okay, type DevC++. Okay, normally the first hit is the right one. You can see here the Dev C++ download. Okay, click uh, the link. Alright, as you can see, there is a uh, button download here. Uh, even though the name is a C++, but we are using the same software uh, as the compiler for our C program. So you click download. Any and wait for the uh, downloading okay once finished you can see there is a, a link here you can click to open the exe file okay yes and then it's very simple uh, just uh, wait for the uh, folder to be uh, set up Okay, you select the language English, click OK, and then uh, agree. And you can see here, I just um, suggest you to just select all, I mean like continue and just tick next. Okay, this is where the program uh, uh, will be installed, destination folder. So make sure you know where is the uh, file here. Okay, then click install. Okay, one finish, you will get this uh, a screen window, then you click finish. Okay, student, when you run uh, the DevC++, you, will, you can see uh, this um, screen. So this is our um, uh, workplace for DevC++. Okay, how to create a new file for to, to write our program? Click file and then you can click new and source file or you can uh, straight away use a control N to open a new file or you can also use this uh, shortcut symbol you can see here it's like a icon of a, a document a, a paper you can see here right and you may click also so when you click uh, click as a uh, uh, choose the source file all right so this is the when you when you open here you can see this is entitled uh, maybe it should be zero or one okay and this will be the line of the code okay and this is the place where we write our program so uh, i have my own program example program so i'm just going to copy all right to here all right assuming this is our uh, simple program our first program all right and now you can see there is an asterisk here meaning that this uh, file has not been saved yet so what we have to do we have to save okay there are two ways to save one you can click this uh, symbol of a diskette to save you can see here when i mouse over here you can see save or you can use a shortcut key control s okay so when you control s or you click save it will come up like this so make sure you know where you're going to save your uh, program so for example i want to save it under my lab okay under this folder okay file name is the uh, file name for this file okay let's say i want to write as a sample uh, one okay and then save as type uh, 
choose C. You can see here, C source file. Okay, make sure C and then the name of the file shouldn't have any space. Alright, after done, uh, click save. When you click save, you can see here, the file name is already changed to sample1.c. Alright, you can see the line here. Uh, uh, num this number are representing the lines, alright, and there are a few colors here. Uh, you can see our pre-processor directive is in green color. The code, the syntax is in uh, black color and other punctuation is in uh, red color. You may change this one. Uh, you can find on your own how to change the color. Alright, now uh, our file here is already been saved. Now we want to compile. Okay, why we need to compile? Because this is a C language uh, and we need to compile to convert the C language into a machine language. So how to for compile? You may just click this uh, shortcut, uh, this icon. You can see here, uh, there are four uh, square here, colorful one here. Okay, it's a compile or you can straight away use F9. So click here, alright, and here is the message of the result now if there's no error you can see here error zero warning zero okay meaning that your program this program sample one.c uh, has no error and no warning so it's okay now to run the program you may close this uh, uh, compile log by click this uh, close tab Alright, now we want to run. Uh, this is the shortcut icon to run. Okay, just next to the compound. Alright, or you can use a shortcut key which is F10. So click here and you may see another uh, prompt, window prompt to show the output. Okay, uh, how do you know this is the right output? You can see here sample1.exe. So meaning that this is execution or this is the output of sample1.c. Alright, you can see here this out, this program want to print hello and this is my first C program. So the output will be hello, this is my first program. And uh, this sentence or this text are the default text from the compiler. So you may... Um, ignore uh, this uh, message you may click any key uh, to close the sam the, the the output screen or you can just click this uh, close all right so let's say this is your first uh, questions and you want to con continue to the second question the same process uh, click file new source file right and then you can see another entitled uh, 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 file okay so this is where you can type your code type second question for example all right so okay i want to copy and put it here this one another another program Alright, okay, then save it again. Save, make sure where uh, the location that you want to save the file. Okay, name your file. So let's say sample 2. Okay, don't forget to save type as a .c. Okay, and save. Okay, alright, so this is a second uh, question or second sample. Same thing, compile. Alright, make sure there's no error and then run the program. You can see this is a program of a sample 2. Okay. Alright, now I want to show you, let's say this program has an uh, error. Okay. I want to delete the semicolon here. Uh, you can see this is the asterisk, right? So I want to save. So let's say this is my original program. So I compile. Okay, when I compile, you can see there is a, 
uh, highlighting with the red color here and point the line where uh, the arrows has occurred. Okay, you can see number 8 here. Now, we'll be telling you line 8. So, it's not only line 8. It also can start from the line uh, 7. Okay, you can see here the uh, message okay, of the error we're telling you that it's in a main, in a sample C at the uh, line 8 and expected semicolon before the print F. So, you know that you should write a semicolon here, one, and then another semicolon here. So, notice or not, when you start editing your program, the file here now become a string, meaning that it's not been saved yet. So, the process goes the same thing. Control S or save. Alright. Then, you cannot simply just run. You want to compile first. Alright. And then, run. So, you get a output. Without uh, fixing the error, you can't run your program. You can't see the output. Okay. Now, if you want to close um, sample C, okay, sample C program, you want to close, you can just right click here and then close. Alright. So, if you want to open sample C again, what you can do is find the uh, file okay you can use this icon you can see here open or you can click uh, control o to open okay click open uh, find where is your uh, program that you want to open okay i want to open sample two sorry sample one so there are two sample one name here so this is a symbol of the uh, sample one code and this is the sample one running program the application means that the execution one so which one that i have to open is actually the c source file so click here then open okay so you can see sample one sample two okay that's all for now uh, see you later bye